is up everybody welcome to brian's badass reviews guys i was just about out i was i was just about out and then i got freaking sucked right back in what am i talking about i'm talking about this crazy world of palette projects now my wifey was on the old phone there and she's going through the pinterest or whatever it is and she sees something she likes and she's like hey honey do you think you can maybe make this for me and in my head i'm thinking of course I can make it for you. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, guys. I took these palettes and I made it into this table. Let's get into it. Kick the intro. All right guys, so here we are. This is something that you can do at home with just a few simple tools. I got myself a couple palettes and I just started going to town, guys. I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I did this. You can do it too. Right away, I get into breaking down these palettes. I'm just basically using a Sawzall, guys. Now, don't critique me on the way that I'm using the Sawzall, but it's the easiest, it's the quickest way. I busted down both of these palettes in about, uh, I'd say about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna get the old table saw ready. I got all my measurements that I wanna do. I'm just, I kinda wung it. I kinda took a look at the picture, kinda got my measurements that I wanted. Uh, there's me just setting up the table saw. This will be the last time you ever see me use this table saw because by the end of this project, this table saw was no more. It's dead though, so I'll be getting me a new table saw. But there you go, guys. And I'm not a table saw expert by any means. Uh, I just, you know, I just know keep my fingers clear of the blade. And that's all I try to do. I get my measurements. Now these are gonna be for the actual legs of the table. And I'm just using the two by fours that come with the palette, guys. I'm just cutting them down. Right here, get just a little bit close to the blade there, but I got it off there. Now I'm using the chop saw guys and now I'm kind of getting the length for the legs that I want and the length of the brace between the table there. Once I get done doing this, and I don't think I showed you every single chop, but once I get done doing this, I'm basically going to kind of mock this thing together and see how I want it. Get yourself a chop saw, get yourself a, a table saw, uh, I use the Sawzall, I got a little brad nailer, and I'll tell you what guys, Harbor Freight is your friend. I go over to the local Harbor Freight, they hook me up. I get what I get when I'm getting something from Harbor Freight, I understand. But uh, for a few uses, you take care of your stuff, I think you're pretty good to go. <music> So here I'm just doing all my measurements, using the old square there, make sure my line's square. Use a chop saw, get that thing chopped up nice and good. And we're gonna keep her moving. Make sure you got your safety glasses on always. I got myself a, a pair of gloves there, that way I can, uh, you know, when you're handling the wood, <laughs> you protect your hands. Now these are the palette slabs. I'm just cutting them down to the length and I like to cut the ends of them because whenever you get a palette, guys, the ends are never cut straight. They're always, they're never square. So I always cut the end off the palette slat there just to make sure it's nice and square. And then when I get my measurement, I make a cut on the other end. I know it's nice and square. Again, I'm just kind of going based off the picture that the wifey showed me and just really kind of winging it. Now 
you could actually run this through the table saw as well. It'd probably be a lot easier. My table saw bit the dust, so I actually made my cut and then I'd have to flip the slat over and then make another cut. Check it out right here, you can see I kinda got it mocked out how my two sides are gonna be. And then that's my tabletop up on the top there. I'm using the old wood glue, which is something I highly recommend guys if you're doing any kind of wood projects. Make sure you got the wood glue there. The brad nails will not keep it together. Kinda helps uh, increase its longevity, if you will. And uh, just throw some brad nails in there once I got my measurement, once I got everything all square and just keep her moving. Looking at my underwear, you weirdos. Got that done, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna be the first to admit here, guys, I am not a woodworker, I'm not a furniture builder. Uh, I just kinda have tools and I have an image in my brain and I kinda just use what I got here in the garage, whether it's nails or screws or the brad nail or the sawzall, all that kinda stuff. I just use that to help get my project done. And uh, usually comes out with uh, pretty good results there, so not too bad. So right here I pre-drilled the holes for that shelf there, and then I'm just putting a, a couple good wood screws in there. That's one side of the table right there. We're getting there, we're making progress. Do the same thing to the other side and here we go. I'm throwing down the shelf. Now I didn't film it, but I did actually put another shelf under there and the slats, they actually go lengthwise. Uh, that's gonna be our little shoe shelf. You'll see it here in the end. Get everything kind of where I want it. Boom, there you go. Starting to look like a table. Yeah. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand it all down and then it's ready for some stain. guys got it all sanded up slap some stain on it and it's looking good now I just used some stain that I had from previous projects that I had I actually used the same thing that I used to stain my deck it's kind of a scrub brush applicator and it, it made it real easy guys so I just stained it with that and then I just use a drop cloth to wipe the excess stain off guys and it came out awesome this is something that you guys can totally do uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this if you got any questions for me on how I did it or the measurements or what else I used, or I know this isn't an in-depth analysis, but I uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys, this is another one of those affordable projects. This didn't cost me anything. I happen to have all the materials at home. Now, if you had to go out and get the tools and all that kind of stuff, yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit. 
But if you already got the stuff at home, you can find pallets freaking anywhere for free. It doesn't cost you anything. Get yourself some screws, get yourself some nails, a little bit of wood glue, and a little bit of time, guys, and you can create some pretty awesome stuff. Let me know if you have any questions about how I did it down in the comments. What do you guys think? Something you might be interested in doing? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got all the way through, I hope you consider subscribing. Hit that like button if you thought it was useful. Super happy with the way this project turned out. I'll probably have more coming. That's all I got for today. You guys know what I like to say. You gotta be kind to each other. You gotta do what makes you happy. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.